Hello, I'm Amit Goswami. I'm a quantum physicist. I'm also a quantum activist. And today I want to talk to you about how I became a quantum activist. It's a gradual story, happened over many years, but it began back in 1973 when I was giving a talk at a nuclear physics conference. Nuclear physics is the physics in which I got a PhD and that was what I was starting at that, teaching at that time at the University of Oregon. So I'm invited to this conference which is taking place at a beautiful place in California on the Monterey Bay called Asilomar. And I gave this talk, should get some pleasure out of it, right? But the pleasure didn't last very long because the next speaker came along and I thought he spoke even better, much better. And I felt jealous. One by one, the speakers came in the morning, in the afternoon. It seemed to me they're all giving better talks, they're getting more attention, and I'm not getting any. Jealousy, jealousy, and jealousy. My heart just started burning with jealousy. In the evening, invited to a party with the others, but they are also jealousy came back in another form. You know, being a man, I was a married man, but still, of course, all men seek attention from women. And there the jealousy turned to why women are turning to these other men and not much at all towards me. Moi, not getting any attention whatsoever. More jealousy, more jealousy, more jealousy. So at one o'clock in the morning, I suddenly discovered that I have finished a whole packet of Tums, these antacid tablets that I, that I used to carry in my pocket. Jealousy is not completely unknown to me, you see. I had similar episodes, just not that striking. Anyway, I got disgusted. Now what to do? All, even my blanket is gone. My security blanket, the antacids. So I go outside. Outside it's beautiful. It's Monterey Bay. The ocean air, the cool breeze falls on my face. And suddenly a thought comes. Why do I live this way? Why do I live this way? And I knew the meaning of the words. Why do I live this unintegrated way in which my life and the profession that I do are completely split, completely separate? Nuclear physics means nothing to people's life. Today, much of what the academia studies means nothing to the world outside. Nothing. And this creates a separateness between how we make our living and how we actually live. This separateness takes us further and further away from the unity which brings satisfaction, which brings wholeness to life. Okay, I did not discover all that immediately, but I knew that I have to change. I have to integrate the way I live and the way I make my living. I have to find what I called happy physics at that time. Happy physics. That search got me into looking into the meaning of quantum physics. And it is that search that eventually led me into discoveries such as consciousness is the ground of being, and all this. But you know, I discovered consciousness is the ground of all being in 1985. I wrote a paper and a book that was published in 1989 and 1993 respectively. And then in 19, uh, 2007 or so, you know, by that time I have appeared in the uh, famous film, What the Bleep Do We Know? and I'm a little bit quote-unquote famous. But even then I'm asking myself, but the worldview is still the same. People just don't understand quantum physics. 
People just don't know what quantum physics means. Although the word quantum, you find everywhere, but people are misusing it. Nobody understanding the real import of quantum worldview, that it really talks about consciousness, that really talks about another domain of reality, transcending the space and time domain, where all these divisions in our life and livelihood exist, where we don't see meaning anymore, we process information. Because we don't understand that quantum physics has changed our worldview forever. The world is not based on matter moving in space and time. The world is based on consciousness. And who will bring that message to the world unless we all become activists? So that's how I became a quantum activist. Quantum activist uses quantum principles to think, to live, and make a living. Quantum principles like what? Non-locality. Everything is connected by oneness. Signalless communication. Discontinuity. We can take quantum leaps of creativity. And relationships don't have to be hierarchical. Man superior to woman, rich people superior to poor people. Not that way. It can be done in a circular hierarchy, which we call tangled hierarchy. So this equality of people that is part of our democratic principle, but we don't follow it, we have to bring that back. And we can bring that back best if we make it part of our worldview. And quantum physics is telling us that it is so. This is why we have to become activists and bring this import of the quantum worldview in our life, in our thinking, and how we make our livelihood. Quantum activism. Thank you.